Okay, welcome back, lovelies. I know that, again, this is not my usual setup. We're on the floor again, but it's just because I've been having a lot of trouble with my back and not feeling well and with my asthma. So this is just the easier angle. So with that said, this is the Color Pop. I think it's called the Totally Confidential Mystery Box without showing my address. Um, pretty sure I will put down here, well, down here, if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure I paid $49 for this with the $148 value. If you are new here, welcome. This is not the usual. I'm usually at my desk where you can see my face. Just this one is not that, you know, one. But I have a ton of With Love Cosmetics 10 to be, ex uh, no, 17 to be exact glitters over there. I have ones coming from Terra Moon Cosmetics. And I just ordered some, I think it's Kiera Cosmetics or something like that. But with all that is said, let's go ahead and get into this. If you are new here, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you enjoy. And with that, let's get into this box. Now I'm excited. Let me get it open so I don't have to cover my address. But I'm excited because we just did one of these and I didn't have anything, I don't think, in it. If I remember right, but if I do, it was only like one thing which is something because i have a huge way too big collection of color now, i took everything out of the bubble wrap to make it easier and we will be doing swatches now um before we jump into this let me know down in the comments do you guys want a fall video of my favorite fall palettes my favorite fall lip combinations let me know in the comments if you'd like to see that. With that, let's get into the video. Okay. Let's start with the smaller things. Let's see what we got. This is the Party Proof Eye Primer. And by the way, if you don't follow me, here is my Instagram as well as my TikTok. I always show the things ahead of time on there. So if that's something you'd like to be into, let me zoom this out a little bit, then go ahead and follow those. But this is their Party Proof Eye Primer. Let me show you. Let me fix the lighting. See if that's better. Yes, okay, there we go. I have never used their eye primer, didn't even know they had one. And it's a shade, caramel. So I don't know how many shades they have and don't mind the crusty nails. Um. Oh, I thought it was going to be a squeezy tube, but it's a doe foot applicator. It's one of the ones I like for lip gloss and things. But since I did it that way, let's... Ooh, that's kind of dark. But when you blend it out, you can't even really tell it's there. So, yeah. Okay, so we have that. I'm actually going to put a little bit more on because we're going to be doing some... Eyeshadow. See how dark it is? Some eyeshadow swatches. And we'll try them over this. But look how dark that is. Way darker than I would have thought, that's for sure, by looking at this. Let's go ahead and blend it out. Like I said, it does blend out a lot lighter, but it probably isn't showing on camera. But in person, I can definitely tell the shade difference between here and there. I think you guys can too actually but it feels nice it feels nice and creamy kind of feels um a little bit silicone actually all right next we'll go with this this is the color pop color stick in the shade happy days Just like that there it is it looks like this. Go ahead and do this on this hand. Very creamy. Oh, wow. Let's blend it out. Okay, it blends out nicely. Go ahead and put it the regular way over there. Let's put a little bit more. Yeah, it 
blends out nicely. Nah, it's kind of patchy actually. But like you guys can see right there, the patchiness. There you go, you can see it way better now right there. But either way, it's a pretty color. It matches nicely. So we have that. And I do put everything back in the packages because I sometimes I give things away to family and friends and it's nicer if it's in the package. Okay, so we have two of these. Oh, they are not the same. I thought they were, so I grabbed them together, but they're definitely not. This one is the Cream Gel Liner. These are really nice. These are Allie Dawson's favorite, if you watch her. This is in the shade Get Paid. Oh, that's a beautiful color for fall. Looks like it's going to be metallic. Here's what it looks like. But I don't want to break it. These are, if you've never used them, they are very creamy. So you definitely don't want to push them up very far. I was right. Look, it is metallic. Beautiful for fall, though. Okay. I have a lot of these. So this will be getting added to my collection. But still going in the packaging, just in case I already own it. And this one is in the shade Crazy. It's just abbreviated. Get the stick out back down. Okay, now I'm not too good. Like, that's a point. Okay, we're gonna make it we're gonna make it thick first. Oh, I thought that was blue. Okay. There we go. We'll see if it dries down matte or not. Now, I'm not too good with gel liners. Or I should say liquid liners. And by the way, it does have the spring. Just in case you wanted to know. So there's that. That is get, is it get laid or get paid? Oh, it's crazy. Wait, what? And happy days. Where the hell did I get get laid or get paid? Oh, because there's get paid for the other liner. Okay, but it definitely wasn't get laid. And we'll let that dry to see if it dries matte or shiny. It looks like it's drying down matte as it's getting dried because it's not reflecting. But we'll give it a few more minutes. Okay, and then we have, these are the ColourPop Crystal Face Jewels. 72 crystals. And cruelty free, there's the bunny. That's what they look like. Let me take them out of the packaging. Here we go. Very pretty. We have like orange. When you can see on the top of them, they have the little circle reflector piece. We have like a hot pink. Then these look, I don't know, they're different. They both look clear, but you see how different they look? Either way, very pretty. Good for fall time. Since we're going to be doing, well, not were, so I don't know if I, but we're going to be, there I go again, were. People are going to be doing outfits, so it'd be nice to have those. So I'm sure they'll come in use, come in handy for me or someone in my family. All right, let's do this. What is this? It's ColourPop Lux Lip Oil. It does not have a shade. It looks like that. Let me know in the comments, please, if you guys mind this angle. Okay, it looks like this. The shade name is Gleam On. Very pretty. If you've never seen, the Doflet applicator is just like the one um, for the eye primer. I doubt you'll be able to see, but we'll try. You can definitely see it. It doesn't have a it doesn't really have a smell. <laughs> doesn't really have a scent. Just a very pretty, like, see-through. But I don't know if you guys will be able to see. It's got, like, a pinky shift. I don't know if you can see it. 
Very nice. I love lip oils. So I'm happy to have this. Although, now that I remember, I already have this. I have this entire collection, which I did a video on, but unfortunately, lost the footage, so I just let it go. Um, ColourPop Luxe Velvet Luxe Liquid Lipstick in the shade Dance Off. You see, it says Velvet under Dance Off. Okay, I've never tried any of these from them. So I don't have a... Oh, that's a beautiful, like, mauve nude color. And it says the name. A different doe foot. Let me show you guys. It's like slanted on the bottom, but straight on the top. And then just flat. But it does come to a point. So if you need to, like, outline your lips, you have that point. Oh, this feels nice. That feels very nice, actually. All of this is a fall layout, if I ever seen one. Loving that. Oh, yeah. Let's see. The black eyeliner. It definitely dried down 100% matte. And it ain't moving. Well, it did move a little bit. You see that? But that's only because I don't think it was completely dry. It looks more blue on my finger, but I'm pretty sure it's black. So, we have the velvet lip. Okay, we'll go with this. We got some falsies in the uh, in the style. There we go. In the style Chica. Looks like this. You got orange to pink gradient. Those are actually very pretty. Definitely more on the natural side. Although I have, and you pull this and it pulls them out. I have a, uh, actually, hold on. Would you guys like to see the bandwidth? Not very thick, which is nice. But anyways, I have a ton of eyelashes, and I don't wear eyelashes. So, it, we're coming closer to the end of the year, so we will be, uh, faux lashes. We will be doing, why do I say we? I will be doing my first declutter ever closer to the end of the year and I'm very excited next we have a ColourPop pressed powder palette in creamsicle I want to say I have this but I don't know beautiful look at that that is stunning now, I don't want to swatch this because I think I might have it, but I'm not sure. But really quick. Okay. Um, this one and this one, it says, are not technically eye safe. But everyone still uses them on their eyes. So, there's that. I Like I said, I would have swatched it, but... I don't want to because I do want to do a giveaway here soon. And I'm about to hit a thousand subscribers. But depending on how much it would cost to send over to, you know, the UK and other places like that that are not in the States here. Depends on if I do an actual giveaway of products or if I just give away like a hundred dollar gift card. Then we have Fillin' Coconutty pressed powder palette and all the ones in here are pretty much eye safe now I know I do not have this one beautiful look at this that shimmer Ooh. okay here we go oh that's pretty oh these mattes are creamy did you guys see that i don't have any more but i am gonna get some more because this is a very light color there we go beautiful but i'm telling you what these mattes are creamy wow i didn't put any more on my fingers i just ran them over it and it looks like i don't know if you guys can see let me change my lighting okay 
Can you guys see? It looks like there's glitter in this one and in that one. And that looks like the only matte matte. Now that I changed my lighting, look how pretty. You can kind of see the glitter in these two. Mainly this one, because that one's so light. So that is Filling Coconutty. Like I said, none of them have the star to say that they're not technically icy. And everybody still wears them on their eyes. They just say that in case something happens, that it can't come back on them for not putting it on the packaging. So that is Filling Coconutty. So next we have Cheap Date. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that right there. Um, but yeah, this is a Super Shock Shadow, which I do not think I have. So there's the packaging. And I have a lot of these, but I don't think I have this one. Okay. Look at that. Their Super Shock Shadows are just stunning, you guys. And look at that blindingness after I swatched it. Oh, that is beautiful. And would go gorgeous with that palette and all of these. Yes. So this is Blind Date. Okay, next, we're going to go with this. This is Fourth Ray. This is their sister company. This is where they have all of their skincare. And this is the Avocado Superfood Nourishing Mask. It says, extra AF, avocado is known to be rich in exfoliants and essential fatty acids. It says, matcha is known to replenish skin with vitamins, minerals, and phytonutrients. I think it's how you would say it. And then kale is loaded with antioxidants, including vitamin A and vitamin C. It is for healthier looking skin. It's softening, refining, and nourishing. So there's that. I'm not big on the masks that have to be rinsed off, but I have it, so I'll definitely use it. Oh, it looks like it's leaking out, so it just smells like a mask. So we have that. We're gonna open it since it already looks like it's leaking out. You're all I ever wanted. That's funny. And then, okay, we'll get the big one out first. This is the Star Wars Mandalorian ColourPop One Hand Mirror. It looks like this. Hello. And these are in like a metallic color. And that and the stars. Which I'll definitely be giving away because I don't know if I'll do a giveaway. Like I said. Or not. But I definitely don't need this. I have way too many mirrors as is. But we got that. Oh, and like I said, I know I already own this. This is the Glow Getter Pressed Powder Palette from ColourPop. There were three different palettes. This one is the... I don't know. There's a butterfly, a dragonfly, and one other one. Here's the packaging. Beautiful. And here are the colors. But like I said, I'm not swatching because I already own, but I'll give you a nice close-up look. This is what they call a, um, I can't think of the name, but it's their matte that has glitter in it, a shimmer, a matte. Shimmer, shimmer, and a shimmer. Plain matte, plain matte, and plain matte. Beautiful, cool-toned palette. So like I said, just from this box and a couple other things I have in my collection that haven't been touched, I could definitely do a giveaway. But I'll just have to check with my post office, see how much a five pound box would cost me to send anywhere in the world. Because I have lovelies in India, the UK, 
and other places. And I just, I'm not gonna exclude all of you and only make it in the States giveaway. That's not right. Anyways, why I'm talking and not paying attention. This is, oh, this feels so soft. Can you hear? So soft. This is the Twist of Slate Pressed Powder Palette. It has two, four, six, eight, ten shades. This is their newer palette. I'm pretty sure it's the one that has the cream eyeshadow for the base. Yes, that is the cream. And then we have four shimmers and we have five flat mattes. This one we will swatch. So let's go. Here is that um, cream eyeshadow. We're gonna go ahead and put it over that uh, primer. Oh, it feels nice. It, it feels like it dried down to a powder. That is so weird. Okay, there it is. Now, let's get into these shimmers. Okay, here are the first four shimmers. We're gonna put them over here and then at the end, we'll put some over top of that primer. I hate doing swatches with my pinky, but there we go. Oh my God, that's beautiful. All right, let's get the mattes. Okay, here's the first three mattes. This is a beautiful, cool toned palette. Okay, let's get the last two. Here are the last two. These mattes are so soft and are going on like butter. Okay, let me clean off my fingers. We'll put some over the primer and then we'll look at the colors. Okay, we're gonna put this slate gray and this champagne -y gold shimmer over. And remember, we have the primer down and then we have the cream eyeshadow down for a base. gonna see about blending out the gray I will say even though the cream base felt like it dried down like a powder it is like clinging a lot to the eyeshadow to where it's mm, I don't know if I want to say patchy but it is a little bit but to be fair I didn't use a brush I used my fingers and you know take it with a grain of salt Swatches are a lot different than your eyes. Now, as for that shimmer, blending out beautifully over that creamed eyeshadow. So, I don't know if people would use the creamed eyeshadow for just shimmers or for shimmer and mattes. I want you guys to be able to see. There's where I swiped it. Here's where I blended that out. Beautiful. Let me clean up and I'll tell you the names of all these. Also, I want to show you guys something. See how nasty I got that? Cleans up very nicely. Look at that. Sorry, it's a little hard to clean it up on camera and in real life and make sure you guys can see what I'm doing. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that it cleans up very nicely. Okay, I'm going to tell you guys the names. This is where we're going to start with the names. But that creamed eyeshadow I put down is this one right here. And its name is In the Stars. So now we're starting here with the shimmers, which is starting right there. I'm going to hold it this way so you guys can see. We have Micah, Fortunate One, Carbon, and To the Quarry. To the quarry is that last shimmer right there. So now we're starting here and doing the mattes. We have So Faded, Take a Chance, Cool Down, Night Vision, and Sleek Over, which is the last one. 
So what do you guys think? I love this. And with my ColourPop video that I have up on the channel, if I remember, I'll link it in the description, has another one to this collection um, that I had gotten. And then there's this one, and then there's one more. So now that I have two, two, I'm gonna have to get that last one. So let me put this up and we'll recap. But before I do, like, can you guys just take a moment to just look at the beauty of those shimmers. My gosh. Gorgeous. And I'll be honest, the formula in these little palettes, the three that they've made, out of the two that I have, this one and the other one from the other video, they don't feel like the normal ColourPop eyeshadow formula. They feel different in a good way. They feel better than the regular formula. So if you've not had a chance to, grab one of these and try them out. I think they're like 12 or $14. You won't be sorry because you've seen how the mattes and the little quad mattes feel different. They go on so easily. But let's recap. So first, we have the mirror, which I'm gonna do a rough estimate, but after I go back and edit, I'll be able to put the exact amount of how much this box was worth. So we'll say 15, 14, so we'll say 29, 14, so 33. I don't know how much these masks are, but I'm gonna say 15. So six, seven, eight, 58. These are 14, so 68, 72. I think their falsies are 10, so that would be 82. I don't know how much these are, but we'll say 10. So that is 92. 106, because these are 14. I think these are 12, so 108, 118. So we'll say, same with these Lux uh, Velvet Lips, because I don't know about them. So we had 118, 128, 29, 30, so 130. I didn't know they had primer, but we'll say 10. So that's 140. These are six, uh, the Super Shock Shadows, so that's 136. Color sticks are six. Eight, the nine, forty-four, and forty-two. Hundred and fifty-two. Liners, I think, are eight. So it's a hundred and sixty. Hundred and sixty-eight. Now, I probably overestimated a little too much on some things. That's why I will do the exact estimate and I will put it down there. But I hope you guys did enjoy this. Again, sorry I wasn't at my normal desk, but please let me know in the comments if you guys don't mind this angle once in a while. Also, if you are new, please consider subscribing down below and leave me a like if you enjoyed this video and hit that notification bell because we're going to be having a swatch party video coming up very soon for all of my big like 30, 35 pan palettes, which I have a few of that I've gotten that we're going to swatch all together. But one last look. We have, um, that is that, um, cr like crayon stick thing for the eye. This is the metallic looking gel liner. Look at that. That's that creme liner, not moving. Let's see now. Nothing now. So that is the liquid liner. We had the oil. We had the velvet. Oh, look at the velvet um, lip. It doesn't move. Wow. And then this is that first quad, the filling coconutty. And then this is the something slate palette. And the eyeshadow primer is under the cream eyeshadow. So, there you go, lovelies. Again, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Mwah. Bye.